All right, back in the basement again for the last video for this Juggernaut AI meat prep video series that I've been doing. The meat is done, I'm a week post meat. Just wanna share some other feedback based off that last video. I put all the videos in a playlist, check that out. Any topic you can think of, I think I've done a decent job of covering. It'll be linked there, but this will be the last video as a part of this series. A couple of things, you guys asked for me to show you what it looks like on meat day, and I will. I'll show you a couple of screenshots and what happens when you finish a training cycle. I'll be flashing that at screen at some point. Try to get in a little bit better position so I can do both and talk to you at the same time. In my opinion, even though I've run this app through two complete competitions and one other time we're just testing my basement, I do feel like they could do an improved job on the meet day experience. As of right now, it's basically just giving you your attempts. So three attempts for each lift. You can see before going into the meet so you know what to submit for your openers and you have an idea of where you should be if each actual attempt is successful. Then there's also a low option and a high option for both. So it varies based off of percentages. And then there's basically a check or an X below it. You just hit a check or an X depending on if you got the lift or not. But it doesn't give you much anything past that point. So some room for improvement, which I think could really help the overall experience of the app because the app does a great job leading you up to a meet and prepping you and everything taking care of you. And then on meet day, I feel like it kind of leaves you out to dry a little bit and I'm, I'm being a little bit nitpicky because obviously I like the app. I've been using it for 18 months. What I'd like to see specifically is some warm up attempts. So how to actually warm up for a one rep max. Oftentimes people should know this and obviously I've been able to do it by myself, but I would like some guidance because that's always an area where I'm not really sure of. And there's other assets out there and other sites you can use to get that information, but I think it would be a very easy ad in the app. And then also maybe some guidance around attempts. So if you got your first attempt, this is one of the few instances where you don't put in how the actual lift felt. So like for instance, if I put it like felt like an RPE eight, maybe the app would suggest I go for the higher range. Or if I put in that it felt like an RPE nine and a half or even an RPE 10, then maybe the app would auto suggest the lower range on my next attempt. But instead it just kind of leaves you to your own devices, which again is doable, but I think it's just a, a very easy place for improvement. The other thing that I think I struggle with a little bit is post meet what to do next. So as of right now, I am jumping into a bridge block. I gave myself a couple of days off. I lightly started a bridge block last week on the last back half of the week, which was more of a preparatory type work to jump into a new training cycle. And the bridge block is something that Chad suggests. And as the name implies, it bridges you between two training cycles. So it's stuff that's not going to necessarily beat you up. And it's also going to be stuff that's going to be a little bit different than your standard power lifting style training. For the most part, I say that because today I had a squat bench and deadlift day, but it integrated uh, timed sets and things like that. Uh, but I'd like some more guidance about what to do immediately following the meet. I like it to say, hey, take three days off or four days off and then kind of make up your mind. It doesn't do that. And I think in theory, if I went into the app and I started literally the day after my meet, another training cycle, and I put in based off the pre-training survey that I was feeling beat up, I was feeling fatigued, the app would probably tell me to take the day off. But again, I'd like to just see that continuity from start to finish because I think that could be an area where they could improve the app potentially. But again, that being said, I love the app and I know many of you have jumped on it and have enjoyed it yourselves. If you are running it, for some reason, if you're not using my discount code, you can actually sign up through the website or cancel your subscription, just restart it and input basement. It'll save you 10% per month, which ends up being like three to five bucks over the course of the year. You send it like $50. So it's kind of a no brainer and it helps me out if you're so inclined. I always put that information in the description box below. Now, in terms of me in this actual kind of prep and training cycle, I told you I'm going to stop making this specific playlist. I'm not going to stop Juggernaut. The actual app has me on like a 220 day plan. And what I'm looking at here, and I'll flash it on screen, is the next three months is basically gonna be hypertrophy style work, which is great for the summertime. I do wanna compete again this year, but I'm thinking more in the fall. As of right now, the meet has me testing out in December, which is a long time from then. So more than likely what I'm gonna to try to do is find a meet within the next three months, somewhere in that hypertrophy blocks and settle on a meet date and basically retrain, start my training cycle or at least update my meet date to give me a more accurate training cycle to land on that day that I'm going to be testing out. Not sure what's available. There's nothing really in Rhode Island right now that I can see on the calendar in either USAPL or USPA. So maybe I'll travel. I've done that before. I've competed in New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Ohio. Don't mind traveling, especially if it's at a friend's gym or I know friends that are doing that meet. So keep me in mind if you have any good meets coming up in the fall. 
well. Maybe my buddy Michael Corey down at Obtain Strength in Tulsa, Oklahoma will hold a meet in the fall for USPA, which he usually does, and I can jump into that one and go check out his gym or whatnot, so no pressure. But uh, that is what it is. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this series. Again, give a watch on the playlist if you have any questions. You can always leave comments on any video and I'll be sure to respond and answer you anyways. But I might just point you to a video to get a little bit more context. In the meantime, as always, thanks so much for watching and stay big.